Hello and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia and in honor of World Hijab Day, I am going to be wrapping a hijab style that I really love and um, I hope you will too. Now I am doing this um, with my new abaya. Um, I ordered this one from Modanisa and oh my gosh, um, I will show you at the end what it looks like, but uh, it the color and the the quality and everything made me just so excited to wear it that I had to pick a nice a nice beachy theme color palette and um, that's what I'm considering it because it's it's very very soft and um, it just makes me think of of the beach so I am going to show you which scarf I actually chose and then the other scarves that I I thought about because it was a really hard choice this morning. Now the scarf that I ended up choosing is this absolutely beautiful color. Now all of the scarves that I'm going to show you have these these um, beads, these little pearl beads and the little silver beads on it because I found this style and I bought it in every color I could find. So yeah it's just a chiffon and it's rectangular. Now this totally matched my dress here and it coordinated enough with my Lobon velvet cap in the mauve it's a mauve blush blush mauve color so that's what I put it with now a few of the other colors that I could have chosen for this is this gorgeous coral again same scarf just in a coral color because this totally would go it's the nice thing about this being a neutral color. I have a really light colored blush, blush pink here. This would look beautiful. And then I have this seafoam color. And I think this, oh, definitely, definitely this. So just a few of the ones I could have chosen. and. and excited about that. Now I'm going to start with the wrap itself. Um, I'm folding over, it's not necessary, but I do it. It's just a habit a little bit because I like a softer edge in the front. I don't like the way the seamed edge looks when it's next to my face. I'm going to lift and I'm going to be putting this on so that it is off center, I want a small tail and a long tail. So I'm going to get this here. And I'm thinking this is a little long, but let me just adjust it really quickly. Okay. And I placed it on my head. Now I'm going to gather up this really long end and throw it over the front. And the same thing here. It'll just make this part a little bit easier. Now I want to have that little little tiny peak at the front. So I'm going to try to keep that while I bring this under my chin. Like so. The stiffer the fabric is, the easier it is to get this little peak to stay um, in a peak. Bring this back just a little bit. Now I have right here, I'm going pinching this here under my chin. I'm going to grab a little bit back here and pinch as well. And the same over here. This actually wanted to do it by itself. Okay, so I have just this. Now I don't have one of the fancy schmancy pins. I just have a safety pin. I don't wear the style a ton so I just haven't invested in those but if you wear this style a lot it is recommended that you do and that you not drop your pin on the floor like I just did cat finder activate
that's what happens when you get the dropsies. Um, Ha, found it. Okay. So I'm going to just be pinning this under. I'm reaching underneath. I don't like the look of the, the safety clip on the outside. So it takes me a couple extra seconds to get this pinned. And I'm blind while doing it, so... <laughs> Reaching underneath, and there we go. Okay. Now just adjusting, because it does come a little bit out of out of shape, out of out of whack. While I'm doing this. Okay, just like so. I like that. And again, if this were stiffer, this the fabric were stiffer, it would hold this peak really, really well. But it's not, so there we go. All right, so to get those layered pieces that I, that I was um, sporting today, I'm just grabbing back here and I'm going to pull it forward. Now, this may give me a hard time because it's the velvet cap so I'm reaching underneath and just like so and just like so and that should give me enough fabric up front that um, I can now reach just back here and grab a third. So I have this and you can see on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab here and I'm going to bring them all together right about here. It's just at the bottom of my ear. And I'm grabbing a pin. This one happens to have a really pretty glass bead end because I don't want it to be ugly and I want it to sort of blend in. I'm catching my low bun shaper a little bit here and just pinning. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Approximately the same, the same spot. Another pin. And I'm going to try to do the same thing with grabbing the low bun shaper. There we go. I didn't want to stab myself in the ear. I kind of did on this side and that was uncomfortable. Okay, all right, so these don't have to be perfect, but this is the, the pleating. And again, that, okay. Now for this part, I'm going to take the longer end, I'm swinging it underneath, and I'm gonna take the shorter end and bring it up so that I have this under my chin. And I'm taking a pin and I'm going to go down, going in and I'm working it in the scarf going down. I'm catching the under cap a little bit. I'm not stabbing myself in the head. Okay, now I have this extra long piece here
tucking that under like so. And I'm just going to drape this to the way that I like it. Um, so this is press the personal preference as far as the draping, looser, tighter. I think this is about where I had it earlier. And again, another pin. If you've got really pretty decorative pins, it's cool to have them here. Okay. All right. Now, the niqab that I wore earlier, um, I just grabbed a fold of this. Just finding the correct one. There we go. And I found where it suits me best to wear it, like here. And I took a pin and I ran the pin in right here. More experienced ladies probably don't have to use as many pins or this is definitely quicker for them. So I have it like this and then when I bring up, I just grab, bring up, and find the level that's comfortable. And parallel, this might be a little high on this side. Now, when I was out and about today, I actually have filters that I put inside of here so that I get the protection of a mask as well. Okay, so just get this to drape prettily. And then the best part is I can drop this down and it's still absolutely stunning. It's still absolutely stunning, like so. And of course, this piece here, I can bring it to the front underneath and do a little pinny pin here as well, or a magnet, so that it stays and doesn't open up. That's it. Okay, so I am gonna spin around to the back so you can see the back, and then I'm going to get up and show you my ensemble and um, yeah so this. okay I hope you all have a wonderful and meaningful day and I will see you in the next video hi so this is my beautiful Abaya the with the butterfly wings um, <laughs> so the butterfly sleeves I like to call them wings but I did pick this up from Modenisa and um, to tell you how long it is I was wearing four and three quarter inch heels today and it's still drug on the ground a little just a tad so it is definitely wearable for very tall very tall people um, I am five foot seven, so I'm not tall. I'm not super tall, but I'm not so, so petite either. So um, adding those heels was amazing. I was even more impressed with this because it wasn't super expensive and it came in this bag on a hanger and it had a necklace with it. Now the necklace is in my purse because I'm clumsy and got it caught on my purse and ripped it off my neck. So fixing that in a few minutes, but, and say it's, it's insane. It's unheard of for me to get um, packaged well dresses. I've, I've spent much more on an ensemble and 
it be balled up in a bag and tossed in another bag. So this was impressive. 